and welcome here to more Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys on what has been a big day, a really big day for football but I think even more than that this has been a significant day for us fans. In the end the fans will always win, we make the game what it is and as we speak right here right now we're all sitting around waiting the Super League. It is crumbling before our eyes. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at the teams who have already pulled out, how we got there, and the teams that will indeed follow. As this competition, doesn't matter what they say, it's dead and buried. Because it did all start to kick off earlier on this evening when Chelsea there were playing at home against Brighton. And before the game, there was a significant protest there outside of Stamford Bridge, which in the end actually brought out Petr Cech to start confronting and trying to reason with some of the fans who were protesting. They delayed the buses, really, really angry there about Chelsea participating in the Super League. And shortly after that then, it was first reported that Chelsea had started started the process of withdrawing from the Super League. And I think once that happened, there's always been a feeling here with the Super League in these last 48 hours that once one club started there to get a bit nervy, a little bit twitchy, the rest would certainly follow. And it was exactly like that. It was a domino effect there, like a pack of cards all falling down at once, because then came an emergency meeting between all 12 there of the founding clubs. The English clubs look very much set to be on their way. And indeed, Man City were the first club to say, you know what, officially here, we are gone. We are withdrawing from the Super League, and it was only a matter of time then. Liverpool, Man United, of course, followed as well. Tottenham, Arsenal, and indeed Chelsea themselves. Liverpool too. They are all gone. They have all started there, that process of withdrawing from the Super League. And right now, like I say, I see absolutely no way that this competition, that this sham can continue. And indeed, right now, Florentino Perez was due to actually hold another of his interviews this evening at 11.30pm in Spain, which is well, well past by now. And that interview did not go as planned. For some of it, they said, oh, he's still in a meeting there with the clubs talking about the Super League. But as time went on, he was never coming in front of the camera again. He was never going to look us in the eye. Because some of the things that he said last night, some of the things there that he was going on and on and on about, absolute nonsense. The the fact that these clubs here couldn't leave. He said it was never in doubt this Super League was going to happen, that the contracts had been signed and everything there was watertight. But already half of the clubs here have gone and also now AC Milan are believed to be withdrawing from the Super League. And of course there are teams left, the likes of Barcelona, of course Real Madrid, they're probably still going to be there until the very, very end. Juventus, Inter and Atletico as well. But like I say, this does seem to be the beginning of the end already for this tournament and I do just wonder here have the clubs or have the English clubs got what they wanted there from UEFA a few reports right now a few rumours are circulating that UEFA offered big big amounts of money to see them leave the Super League whether or not that is going to be true we're going to have to wait and see but I would not be at all surprised because like we said right throughout this UEFA are far from innocent either and they'll probably battle and combat money with yet more money. But I do want to talk here specifically about Barcelona for a moment because a lot of people, of course, are concerned about Barca's participation in the Super League, and rightly so. That's not something that, as fans, we do want to see happen. But I do come indeed with some big news. Even here, if the Super League right now isn't completely dead in the water, the most important thing is that Juan Laporta appears to be in full control of our destiny because it has been widely reported here this evening, right throughout the night in the Spanish media that Juan Laporta actually agreed a deal prior there to joining any Super League that basically meant Barca would not participate in any Super League without the Sochis. Of course, they're the club members voting in favour of it. So right now, nothing at all is guaranteed, nothing is sealed, and if the Sochis were to vote against Barca's inclusion, which I think if the vote was indeed put to them, if it gets that far, if they were to vote against it, Barca would be allowed to to leave because of that deal that Laporta negotiated, they would be allowed to withdraw from the competition without having to pay 
anything at all. Now, right now, we don't know if those clubs who have withdrawn, the English clubs there who are going to leave, if a contract was signed, maybe they will have to pay there a break clause, an exit clause to get out of that deal. But if Barca walk away, if the Sochis said no, which, like I say, I fully expect them to if it gets that far, Barca will be able to leave without any problem. And I just want to say once again, guys, just like I did over on the main channel earlier on today, what you can't do is trust Florentino Perez. You remember him last night saying that he was easily convinced Juan Laporta, that he had no problem there actually signing up for the Super League and all of this stuff. And it just goes to show, please, please, please do not believe everything there that that guy is going to put in front of you because he's going to try and spin this now. And also the clubs who have withdrawn, they're also going to try and spin this in a way as if, oh, you know, we made a mistake, you know, we thought we were going down the right road. They should have known this was how we as fans were going to react. It's not good enough that they signed up to this in the first place. Yes, I'm going to be happy, of course, when these clubs do withdraw and the Super League doesn't go ahead, but this should never have happened in the first place. They betrayed us fans by even taking it this far. And I just want to draw your attention here to a tweet this evening from Gerard Pique. He has become the first Barcelona player to actively speak out here on social media because he tweeted tonight, football belongs to the fans today more than ever. PK there responding to what has been a historic day in the footballing world. And of course, PK being Gerard PK, he could not resist there. A cheeky little dig towards El Chinguito, of course, the platform where last night Florentino was just spouting all of his nonsense. PK saying there that yesterday you guys are having a party. Today, all of your plans have completely sunk there. A big, big hit out. And Gerard Piquet never, ever missing an opportunity to really take it there to Real Madrid. But like I say, guys, we are in a much, much more positive, a much more settled place than we were 48 hours ago when the Super League was originally announced, when everything there was being confirmed, the founders and all this kind of stuff. I was concerned. I think we all were that football was going to be heading down a very, very dangerous path. And I think what we all have to say as well is that, yes, when these plans do indeed fall flat when Florentino's little plan here, this little project of his, when that completely goes under, we can't just forget about all the stuff that does need changing. Because like I say, UEFA are not perfect. Far, far from it. FIFA are not perfect. There are many things within the game of football which still do need addressing. And we've got to keep this energy. We have shown what we can do coming together here as the football community. Didn't matter what club you supported. Everybody was pulling in the same direction. And it just goes to show we hold the power, no matter what those clubs think, no matter what the club's owners think, they may feel as though they can do whatever they want with our clubs, but especially here for Barca, we know that this is a club run by the fans, owned there by the members, and certainly we will not be participating in any Super League. The vote would need to be put to those members, and I don't see them accepting it, and I don't believe it will go that far. So guys, let me know your thoughts. It has been a whirlwind 48 hours. This is actually my third upload of the day. It has been a very, very long day indeed. But tomorrow, we're actually getting ready for a football match. A football match. Yes, that is right. We're going to be playing against Etafe on Thursday. We're going to hear tomorrow on Wednesday from Ronald Koeman. I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully, he will shed some light on the situation. I will see you guys then. Thanks indeed if you have checked out all of the videos. Amazing support right there. And I will see you soon. But until next time, enjoy your evening or your morning. But as always, Vishka El Basa.